What up you little goobers, a month ago at the TFT Vegas Open, the devs announced the 2024 roadmap and at the beginning of that we saw that we'd have a set revival. Everyone speculated that it would probably be set 3, that's what I thought as well, and lo and behold it has been announced today that we are in a set 3.5 revival which is uh, TFT Return to the Stars with this article that they posted here. So we're going to quickly go through this article, I'll give you guys the TLDR, I've already read this article a couple times, I'm not going to go through it verbatim, just going to give you all the things that you guys need to know. So with that out of the way, let's get into this. So uh, when can you play Return to the Stars? It is going to be on patch 1402, which is January 24th, um, and it will end on March 19th, which is the end of patch 1404, which is also about the same uh, the same time that set 11 comes out. Um, so if you guys want to play this, this will be a four phone game mode. Um, it'll run concurrently with the main set. And so let's uh, do this. So why return to the why galaxies? Why return to the stars? It's because it's the first of the old sets that is like truly beloved. I would say I would say set three and set four are like the two uh, really old sets that are near universally beloved and uh, i knew one of them would make a return set three makes a return for obvious reasons and so over set four one it's the older one and two uh set four's mechanic is chosen and we are currently using chosen in the current set so wouldn't ma really make a lot of sense uh so we're going back to, into uh set three which is going to be cool if you guys want to watch some of these videos if you guys didn't play the older sets i'm not going to watch these right now I, I played set three i know what the units do um so if you guys want to watch uh these videos if you guys are newer to TFT, I will link the article below so you guys can um, click and watch these uh, videos if you'd like. Uh, but yeah, this is just kind of showcasing some of the older stuff like Cybernetics Aurelia. Uh, that's something I'm excited to play. Uh, Mech, which is you know universally beloved as well. Uh, we got Rebel Jinx down here. Uh, that is Rebel Rebels. Uh, there is a Rebel patch, and that's what I. That's how I climbed the Grandmaster for the very first time ever was in set three. I just giga climbed on the Rebel patch. Uh, anyways, so uh, we are modernizing our future set um, themed. Uh, so the set mechanic, the set mechanic for set three is returning. And that's going to be very easy for you guys to play if you haven't played the older sets. Because set three's mechanic was Galaxies, which is essentially the precursor to Portals. So uh, if you guys have been playing the current set, you guys should be well acquainted with this. And here are some of the Galaxies or the Portals that you can play on this. Um, these are the same ones that we had um, when the game came out. These are the same old ones. I remember playing Super Dense Galaxy and that sort of thing in Trade Sector and that sort of thing. Uh, so uh, if you guys didn't get a chance, these will be the ones that you get to play. And moving down here, Augments. Are they going to have Augments? adding augments and so they are adding the augments that are in the current tft sets um i'm sure they'll have some that are unique to galaxies like we have some that are unique to like you know executioners and stuff in our current set so i'm sure there'll be some unique ones but uh they'll be adding the majority uh, or, or all the general augments that we have in the current sets and then system changes and items uh so here's something that's important therefore we've updated return of the stars to match the active item sets uh core systems and uh items or active sets core systems and items sorry um so what this means is uh this is just talking about all the rules in which like components are dropped and um and all the all the core systems so all the like the little rules that uh, that the game is structured around it'll be modernized to have the modern rules now i do believe it will have the old item recipes uh so for older items like we won't be able to build steadfast heart because that's a new item I do believe that is still how it is because I can't imagine they have to redo the balance for the new items. Um, and a lot of these units were designed with the old items in mind. Uh, but that's the only thing I'm actually unsure about because I don't really get much clarity here. We may be using the new items. I think we're using the old item recipes. But what this means is we're just using the new um, like drop rates and that sort of thing. Um, cool. So uh, yeah, so this means modern drop percentages, bag sizes, all the good things. Okay, and then this is really important right here. We are significantly changing one system of galaxies we will now have 50 total copies in the pool of every champion. So every champion will have 50 copies. Every single one will have 50 copies. Uh, this is because this is a completely for fun game mode and they want you to be able to say me mech at the beginning of the game and play it no matter what. No one can contest you. You'll be able to play whatever comp that you want every single game. Now, something important to note here is that, uh, you know, you can't dilute the pool anymore. So like if you're going for like a three cost reroll, uh, it's not even effective to look around to see if other people are playing three cost rerolls because they're not going to dilute the pool enough for it to be like st statistically significant unless the entire lobby is playing three cost reroll. Uh, so that's something important to note there, but you can hard force every single game and you don't have to scout at all uh, to worry about what units people are holding. And then lastly, we have some five cost adjustments here. Um, so uh they are just updating the three star five cost so if you end up getting those we'll just play this little ergot video real quick if you guys didn't know about ergot he's pretty neat 
He sucks him into the grinder. Grinds him up. <laughs> so they're just updating some of the visuals and stuff. <laughs> There's Ergot. Ergot's a good time. Um, okay, uh, I guess I wasn't lastly right there, obviously. And then quality of life changes. So they are going to add all the quality of life changes, like all the tool tips, all the like looking at item recipes, looking at um, all, all the little nice things that have been added in the TFT over the past couple sets. You know, the little eye icon over the over the champions on carousel. So they'll be adding things like that. And then balance, um, if this is important to any of you guys. Again, this is a really for fun game mode. Uh, so. They have, uh, our balance policy has evolved since Return of the Stars, so we've tuned our set revival accordingly, so key areas like champion's base stats will now, uh, will be more like how they are now. So, if you guys played set three, it will feel a little different for sure, um, just like the units will feel a little bit different because they will have the base stats of current, um, so uh, Shaco won't be just like absolutely one-shotting your backline <laughs> uh, like you used to on, on Shaco patches, I remember that. Uh, I climbed a lot playing Shaco. Uh, anyways. Um, so, however, we know that there are uh, complexity through augments and new portals, so they will be balancing. So what you really need to know is that there'll be like one or two balancing patches, um, especially early on. So our main goal is for players to just have fun. Uh, that's the goal. Um, and so uh, by doing that, they will do uh, to be balancing with a mid set patch um, and then potentially if needed one B patch. So expect about one or two patches uh, for this for this set. Um, because again, it is a four phone game mode. And then lastly, just uh, to round it out again, to remind you guys, it will be live on uh, patch 1402, January 24th. We'll end patch 1404, the end of patch 1404, um, March 19th, which again is around the same time set 11 comes out. Um, and then if you guys want to play this early on PBE, you can play it on January 11th on the PBE server. But anyways, guys, uh, I'm pretty excited about this. I'll probably play a couple matches uh, maybe I can make some good YouTube content out of it. I don't know, but you know, I, I really just like playing ranked, um, on the current set and just that that's really how I have fun, um, being challenged and, and, and like, you know, making some cool comps when uh, people are trying to like hard force the meta or whatever. Like that's how I enjoy TFT. So I probably won't be playing this too much, but I'll probably play a few match, few matches, but you know, if it makes for good content, I might, might play some more. I'm excited to play. If I do play, I'm excited to play uh, celestial snipers. So I used to play a lot. Try to, excited to play Shredder Zaya. I'm excited to play uh, Cybernetics, Aurelia, and Vayne Duo Carry. That sounds really fun. Um, what are you guys excited to play? And uh, comment down below if you guys have never played Set 3. If you've never played Set 3, I definitely recommend you guys should give it a try. But other than that, guys, hey, follow me on Twitch. I stream every day. I stream every day. Every day. Actually, every day. Check it. I've been doing that. Yo, what up? How's it going? And welcome back for another video. Today's video, we're going to be doing a patch notes rundown for 10.7 TFT. Um, so the purpose of this video is going to be to, you know, talk about the highlights of the patch, uh, go a little bit deeper into the numbers, stuff like that. And then at the end of the video, we'll talk about some comps that I think might be good or some things you might want to try um, on the first couple days of this patch and all that good stuff. If you're unfamiliar with me, I've been making uh, patch notes rundowns for League of Legends for over a year now, uh, but now I'm just shifting a little bit more to doing TFT stuff as it's just kind of the game I'm focusing